the house. We are still working on getting the process down for getting everything packed out of the house, figure out what we need to bring, you know, cameras, stuff for EJ. It still takes a little bit to get out of the house. I mean, it takes a little bit to get out of the house anyway, but when you have to get out of the house to go in the airplane, it takes a little bit more. Really good. Right. And I think every time we go through this process, we'll get better and better. It, yep. It's just like learning to ride a bike. The more you do it, it'll just be instinctual. And we have some ideas for better organization to help us, so. We're getting there. Yeah. It only took us, what, maybe an hour and a half to actually decide to go flying and then get everything packed up. But maybe we can get that down to about five minutes. So uh, the plan for today is we are going to fly from our current home airport of Red Wing, Minnesota and go to Wisconsin Dells Baraboo Airport. Um, Wisconsin Dells is, of course, known for being the water park capital of the world, so we are going to go there and not go to the water parks. <laughs> we are going to, we're going to try something called Wizard Quest. That um, was my idea. This is Colleen's idea. It's, it's my birthday weekend. So since uh, the first pitch event for my dad kind of... Uh, kind of overlapped Colleen's birthday. It was on the same day. Um, this is the belated birthday trip for Colleen. So I get to geek out and be a wizard. Yep. Hi. Hi. So we just started the plane up, figuring out our organizational skills. Should probably put my shoulder straps on here. found a new car seat for EJ. We think it's gonna work a lot better than the, the other one did. He, he got in here and he said, ooh, I like, it's comfy car seat. <laughs> it's a lot more room, very, very light. So, let's see, we're all pre-flighted. Everything's looking good. Engine's warmed up. Not that it needed it too much because it is 95 degrees. Took us a while to get to where we're at right now. Um, but, yeah, it's two in the afternoon. But I do have to say, I feel a lot more organized in the back seat. Normally it's like crazy and EJ's crap is going on. And <laughs> now I feel like he's got, we have the car seat. We also have this organizer on the back of Ed's seat that has like the garbage and it has like cup holders. And then EJ's new car seat has cup holders. And I just feel like we put a lot more thought into the organization, which helped me to enjoy it more. Yeah, we really took our time. Um, we didn't rush getting ready to go. Um, you know, we, we spent some time at Walmart checking out some different car, car seats and some different organizers and, and this, that, and the other thing. And uh, then when we got down here, we really took our time and got things put in good spots. It is warm. Let's get that air going. I'm going to, again, ignore you guys, focus on the task yep. at hand. Or us. And run through the run-up checklist. So, radios are set, this is down, limit are set, flight plan is set, direct, Delta, Lima, Lima, cabin doors are set, no enunciation, flight controls, free and correct, fuel selector is to the fullest, trim, center, transponder, VFR standby, all flaps open, mixture rich, throttle. Threading traffic, Sky 723, Dockside Series, Reno, Chief, and across over the top, under left down, on for 27, right away. Temps and pressures, good. Ignition check. Would be right ignition. That would be a left ignition. That would be both. Prop. Cycle. Ammeter. Charging. Let me back home. Throttle idle. Let me back home. Lights. Ah, uh, let me back home. Set. Fuel pump. Ah, uh, let me back home. Hold well on, honey. I'm working on it. It's 96 degrees out. Redwing traffic, Skag 733, Foxtrot Sierra's clear. Runway 27, Redwing. Alright. 
doors. So, uh, final checklist, ignition, good, fuel, pump on, fullest, rich, flaps, set, enunciators, good, trim, good. Redwood traffic, experiment late two nine or X Charlie, departing runway two seven, departing to the southeast, Redwood. Speeds alive. Gauges in the green. Rotate. Positive rate. Flaps up. Five hundred feet. All right. Well, for some reason the GoPro turned off, so I don't know when that happened. Should be recording again. We just climbed up to seven thousand five hundred feet, and we're getting set in cruise flight. Estimated time of descent with ETA. So ETA D is the estimated time of arrival at the destination. So we're going to get there about 3 p.m. So, a little bit of a late start, but that's okay. Um, now was one kilo fox said you wanted to hold off, you said. Estimated time en route to okay, destination fine. Just let me 22 like minutes. Uh, ETV is the estimated time to vertical navigation, so 12 minutes and 45 seconds until we start heading down. Okay. We've got 3 hours and 20 minutes of fuel on board, which is 37.9 gallons. We're estimating we'll have 33.7 gallons of fuel showing you now when 10 we get miles to the northwest of the La Crosse Airport. 30 Minneapolis via direct killer intersection, killer 2 arrival, like making 1 day. 2000 sales. It is a really nice day, isn't it? Up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, outdoor air temperature at 7,500 feet is 54 degrees. Because of this wind, we've got a 36 knot tailwind. We are getting 20.3 miles per gallon. Woo -woo! At 201 nautical miles an hour. Wait, what would that miles per hour, what would that be? Uh, times 1.15. So 200 times 1.15. 230 miles an hour across the ground. Wow. We're going fast. We good? We're good. The uh, FBO is ordering a taxi for us. We are 8.5 miles out. Taxi's gonna be there in 15 minutes, so that should be perfect time for us to land, get it tied down, and we're good to go. We got the airport in sight. And again, we're gonna land on runway. 3-2. Oops. Which again is a grass runway. 2,700 feet long, 100 feet wide, left traffic.
was that? Beautiful, honey. Excellent job. Welcome Airport. to Baraboo Dells. We're glad you're here. So we're having a little bit of, what's that EJ, is that mac and cheese? Cheese. Mac and cheese. Just <laughs> yeah. finishing up some really good pizza. And Queen's having a, let's see here, salad and it's like a burger with no bun, but fries. sounds kind of boring to me. But, well, fries are good. Yeah. And uh, the flight over was good. Planes locked down, they were very friendly at the airport. And we're trying to fork the camera. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just getting a little bit of food. We're going to do Magic Quest in a little bit. So. Experimental A29 or X Charlie, take off runway 19, straight out departure, bear boom. Alright. Ignition, fuel, flaps, enunciators, trim, and away we go. Airspeed's alive. Engines are in the green. VR. Positive rate. VY. Five hundred feet. Cessna three one zero three Victor. Recording. Miles to southeast. Landing. Hold it for a second. Nine, Burlington. Burlington nine two one kilo. Inbound. Miami turning two? on right. Uh, downwind to runway two nine Burlington. Cessna, can you hear me? Zero three Victor, got you. Thousand feet to go. Thousand feet to go. We're five five miles out still. Two hundred go. All right, lovely 
leveling off, 8,500. Burlington 921 Kilo, turning base, runway 29, Burlington. Did you have a good uh, belated Stop birthday trip? And start listening to commercial free music from nearly yeah. every genre. I'm glad we went out. I had a blast there. Subscribe to good. Sirius XM and your music stays with like you. Like I said, I could have been there all day. We should be getting to Red Wing about 8.15. Preconceived notions about what this wizard was. I had some preconceived notions. I, I may have been going along with it because I knew Colleen wanted to. But, you know, I, it may have been in the back of my mind that this wizard quest might have been kind of a, a childish, you know, or for kids kind of thing. And how did you really feel about it after you did it? It was, it was a kind of a kid kind of thing, but I found myself running around like a kid. Uh, yeah, and the funny thing is, is, you know, we were all... So, first of all, ex explain Magic Quest. Okay, Magic Quest is a place in Wisconsin Dells. It's four floors of interactive, like an interactive game. And it's, it's kind of, all based on like a wizarding fairy tale land. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of an electronic scavenger hunt. Yeah. You get a little electronic wand and you wave it at different things and you have to go find find things and money and and complete quests but you actually get a wand that you have to wave at things and then and and then just so it's it's on four floors but you don't just take stairs between the floors oh no 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 they've got these like crazy trampoline floor rope ladder things and huge three-story tube slides that are like, I mean, they're like dry water slides. Which, we had a certain little boy with us that loved it, and I don't think he would have put up with us playing with this game unless it would have had that. <laughs> he, I, yeah, we all, I think we had more fun than he did. I mean, and he had a lot of fun. Yeah. And so, so, like I said, I thought it was going to be a little childish, but I found myself having a blast, and I actually caught myself like running around like a little kid, and I'd pass another guy my age, but he'd be doing the same thing, and he'd kind of give a little, like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> and then we'd keep running around like little kids. So it, it, was, so, it was very fun. If, if you're looking to let out your inner child, and you're a little geek about fairy tales or wizards, you would love Magic Quest. Yep. In Wisconsin Dells. So, successful uh, day trip to Wisconsin Dells. In the books, mm -hmm. and we'll have to figure out what the next trip's gonna be now. Add that to the travel map. Okay, bye. <laughs>